everybody. You know, in a job interview, many candidates meet all the technical requirements for the job. And often, when we look at the candidate that gets selected and hired, they're usually the most likable candidate. Being likable will sell you in a job interview. See, your goal is to get them to want to interact with you more, to want to talk to you for longer. So let's talk about how to be more likable in a job interview. I'm going to give you three and a half tips on how to do this. Okay, tip number one. This sounds so basic, but it's super important. It's to smile. Now, before you turn the video off, okay, let me explain. <laughs> when I say smile, I don't mean, you know, like this. I mean, do what I'm trying to do right now. You look pleasant. You look approachable, right? You look like you're accommodating and you look friendly, right? That's, that's what I mean by smiling. Now, um, <clears throat> you know, if you were in a room and a stranger walked in, okay, someone you don't know, and you don't know their name, you don't know anything about them, but you look at their facial expression and they look like this. Would you want to interact with that person? Probably not. I mean, okay, if, if, you're, if you're a sociopath and you're uh, up for a challenge, you know, that might be one thing, but if you're a normal, well-adjusted human being, you'd probably not want to go up and talk to that person because you probably feel that the odds of you having a pleasant experience are uh, below average, <laughs> okay? So, you know, this seems so trivial, like I said, but this is very important. We don't know anything about that person, but we already know that we don't want to go and talk to them, okay? That's the power this has. So when it comes to making a first impression in a job interview, this is super important. Now, let's be honest, okay? In a job interview, most of us are not feeling very pleasant. We're probably worried, we're nervous, and uh, we're desperately trying to remember the preparation that we did. And you know, maybe our minds are going blank, right? And unless you're careful, your facial expression will reflect how you feel. And that doesn't make for that good first impression. That ends up being more like the, uh, the stranger that we talked about. Okay, so this is very important. Tip number one is to smile, is to just look pleasant, approachable, accommodating, and friendly. Okay, that's tip number one. Tip number two, this is to throw a compliment. People love compliments. Now, this is not very original. A lot of people have said this, okay? They say throw a compliment. But I feel that the way that they say this, they, they, they don't quite get it right. Okay, when I say throw a compliment, I don't mean you pick some random thing and then you say a compliment that's probably not genuine. It's probably bogus and it feels awkward and it's forced that's not what i'm talking about okay i'm talking about saying something genuine to them that you genuinely appreciate okay that's relevant so whenever they tell you something whenever they do something for you whenever they provide you with something or they offer you something okay you compliment on them on that you don't have to keep doing this maybe one good compliment towards the beginning of the job interview that makes a very good first impression. For example, let's say that the job interview started on time. Okay, so right when the uh, the meeting was supposed to start, they call you into the room. You know, you could say, hey, you know, uh, you guys are really punctual. Now, that's a sign of professionalism, right? I mean, that's, that's a compliment. And when they hear that, they'll probably think like, you know, yeah. Yeah, you know, I try to be professional. Um... That's what I'm talking about. It's not something disgenuous. It's something true. And it's based on something they just did or something you just noticed about them. Okay? Let's face it. In this life, you know, it's not a super common thing for someone to come up to us and say, Hey, you know, that thing that you're doing, you're doing a great job. You know, way to go. Keep that up. You know, that's not very often that that happens. And... When it does happen, it tends to have a big impact on us. It makes us feel really good about ourselves. And, more importantly, it makes us like the other person that's giving us that compliment. And that's why we want to do this, okay? There's nothing disingenuous about this. You find something that they're doing that you think is good, and you tell them that. That's tip number two. 
Okay, tip number three, and this is to say thank you. Now, you'd be surprised at how many people don't do this. Okay, now speaking from the experience of being a hiring manager, and I've hired a few people, you know, when you, when you have known a candidate less than a minute, okay, and they say to you, you know, hey, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. You know, I'm just glad to be here. You know, that really goes a long way. That makes a good first impression. I think, wow, this is probably going to go well because they seem to genuinely want this job. They genuinely feel appreciative of the opportunity. So that's a great start. You know, it's, it's much better than doing the opposite where, you know, you feel kind of a little bit, uh, you know, too cool for them. You know, oh yeah, you know, you're bringing me and I'm clearly the best candidate. I'm this superbly talented person way up here, you know, um, and you know, people sometimes get fooled into, uh, into acting like that because they're trying to play the part of someone that has a lot of value. And in the process of doing that, they can seem too stuck up. You know, um, they seem like, oh, I don't really need this job. I've got a lot of other options open to me. And uh, unfortunately, that's a huge turnoff for the hiring manager and presumably for recruiters too. So don't do that. Show your appreciation. It goes a long way. Now, so that's tip number three. Now, the uh, third and a half tip that I have here, the reason why it's not a full-blown tip number four is because it's not always possible to do in a job interview, but this is a very powerful way to be likable in general, and that is to be agreeable and positive. If they ask you a question, you know, they say, can you tell us about this? You say, sure, yeah, no problem, whatever you're looking for. Right? You're accommodating. You don't uh, say no. You don't find fault with anything. You don't take offense to anything. You know, you're just positive and you're accommodating. And um, this is a good thing. Now, the footnote here, and this is a big footnote, is that um, in a job interview, you can't be too accommodating because, as you guys probably know from my channel, if you see my other videos, a lot of the job interview questions are trying to get you to reveal something about yourself that could be negative. And so you don't want to be too accommodating. You want to be well rehearsed. You want to know the answers to common job interview questions. But with the assumption that you're doing that, you want to have a demeanor of just being accommodating and pleasant and positive and being agreeable. That will go a long way. So those are my three and a half tips. Now, as I said, these these seem so trivial, but they have a huge, huge impact. A lot of people realize this. A lot of the more extroverted people out there, you guys realize this. A lot of the more introverted people or some of the, some of the technical people uh, may not realize this. And I'm talking to you, engineers, accountants, locomotive maintenance technicians. I see you. This is super powerful. If you don't believe me on this, ask any successful salesperson how important this stuff actually is, okay? Might be an eye opener. Um, thank you very much for your attention and watching this long. Don't forget to subscribe. You guys are awesome and more than that, every single one of you has the potential to be a superstar if you follow these tips and a lot of other tips like these, okay? Your career will take off. Things will go well. Very important. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next video.